Disclaimer, this video, like all videos featured on this channel, is definitely intended for mature audiences. This video is likely to contain profane language, content is inappropriate for minors. Video is not for kids. Welcome to the Dr. Green Dumb Show. Dr. Green Dumb Show. Yes. Mmm. That's a hell. What's popping off? It's the Dr. Great Dub Show right here on Twitch, Discord, YouTube, and the home site, www.bereal.tv. Hello. How you doing? Um, to my right, I got the illustrious one, Son Doobie. <laughs> what up, you guys? How I you just, doing? Uh, thank you. Uh, happy, happy Thursday. And chilling in the lime green. Psycho Lazy. Oh, we need his mic. Now his mic's on. Should be working. His mic is not on. Check. Say something. Yeah, his mic is not on down here. His mic is not on. <laughs> something is happening with Psycho Lazy's microphone. All right, we're going to fix that real quick. Um, up in the treehouse, treehouse crew, Bolton, Blombo, Bra Bra, and the Dominator, who is coming down to check the mic. Yo, we're doing good up in here. No, I got his mic cranked all the way up here. It was working earlier. It may be unclipped there, like at the point of your mic right there. No, no, no. I mean like right there. See, see the cable. There you uh, go. Uh, now we hear a psycho lease. There, you, there it is. Bing, That's... bing, bang. Hey yo. Bang, bing. <laughs> now you can give us the squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> and we got his own in the building. What's up, everybody? Having to roll. He's got, a, he's got a project popping off right now. Ooh. Yeah, man. This is, I found out this is the reason why I be falling asleep sometimes during the day. <laughs> How so? The hash holes, bro. Oh, the hash holes, yes. It's, it, they Look, the problem is it's not a problem, but they taste so good, right? They taste real good. And man. sometimes I'm like, if I have a, yeah. a jar of hash rosin for more than three weeks, I feel like I have to rush through it. Like, I'm like, hey, it's starting to turn a little brown. Word. I don't want it no more. Let me just rush through it. So I start, <laughs> I go through this phase and I start rolling like hella hash holes. And then I'll start smoking it back to back like they're, they're regular joints. But then I start getting the nod. Mm-hmm. Like I said, yeah, later, yeah. right? It doesn't happen right away. It happens when you in go the middle. settle down. And yeah. Once you get in the middle mm -hmm. and that wax worm is done, you'll start looking like Bobo. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, like, Bobo. Ooh. Yeah, the last couple, <laughs> last couple shows, but in, in that portal hard because he's, he's been working out hard, bro. Has he? Yeah, that's I don't what, get his notifications no more. Man. Is he hiding his Bobo. notifications? Is that you don't get them? <laughs> You know what? You're right. I didn't. I haven't gotten any his notifications. Oh, I get bro. yours sometimes, but then again, I have to unlock my watch first. Like you know what I mean? Like and I have, then I start getting notifications. But I don't get his notification. I think he hides. Oh, I, I think he hides his note. Oh no, no, no! He's still here. He's still here. I didn't see what he did yesterday, but you just probably don't get the instant notification saying, "Hey, he finished running." Yeah. Yeah, like that's. I would usually get that, man. He says he, he's he's did, been doing a lot of high intensity workouts, and those do wear you down, especially in the summer. If you don't hydrate like right after those workouts, oh, like oh, drink water yes. or some kind of Gatorade or Pedialyte yes. or the adult version of Pedialyte, some shit like this. You gotta man. put back, yeah. You gotta put back. Yep. All right, pour me one, son. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is good. Um, stuff. yeah, you gotta get it right back. It's like you know from. From when you used to train martial arts training, Doobie. Always, You did man. martial arts, Doobie? Yeah, long a lot of us. Ago. A lot we, of us soul assassins. We did. take out a lot when we work out. We 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 put out what comes out of our body. We have to replenish them and put back that in. So we have to think about that. And uh, you know, like I said, our body uses more than what we think um, we need to heal itself. So you know, when we're out there working out. Um, 
Uh, B's right. You got to put back what you take out. You got to put it back right yeah. away because if not, you can get sick because at the moment of time that the temperature changes or your body needs to acclimate whenever. Is, and you're um, depleted. Thank you. Your body needs that whatever whatever <laughs> ingredient or whatever zinc or magnesium it needs within the body to go ahead and heal itself. And water. Yeah. Because, I mean, when you're working yeah, out, no you. matter what kind of workout of any sort, even like, you know, after coming off stage, like let's say any, any one of us got a hour 30 minutes oh, set and Ooh. it's all high paced bpms yeah i mean you know we're sweating yep. yep and after that you know what a lot of us used to do in the 90s is go back to the whiskey or beer or some or a soda i just or followed a, you B, or man. A i remember drink yeah. <laughs> and realistically <laughs> oh, man, i still should have been water Oh, I, I know. I, I, I still, I still right. drink a cold one on you know, stage. You know, you know that's all right though. Right? But I'm saying, I, like, yeah, you, know. you definitely need water. Definitely. But you need water yeah. after, yeah. after, especially after you sweat all that True. water out. Yeah. You need to pull yeah. that shit back you in. You know what? Artists <laughs> gotta true. start incorporating when, uh, like, especially if you require a lot of movement in your performance or whatever set that you got. You gotta, people gotta start, especially if you got the money for it. You gotta incorporate those uh, IV. Uh, oh yeah. Those IV people, I like, do them every IV. month. Yes. Yeah, but like at the end of like, let's say this is like a, a week's worth of shows, and it's Friday. You've been doing shows back to True. back. Yeah. you need to like, it's, yeah. it, you need to get those fluids in your body. Sure so do. You, because you're not gonna have, you're not gonna, like. That's the reason I do it. Because I I'm not disciplined enough sometimes to sit here and chug all that water, bro. I I try. You know, you I know. can try, but I really need to get my you, my my you stuff hydrated the because right. But because right. I need to be hydrated in order for me to hang Faster at what this what this quote unquote job right. requires, hey, like so, smoking and all this stuff. So that's how rich people do it, right? That party hard, like those right. the, the guys that are like the the bachelor playboys, like you know the Bilzerians and those guys, the corporate guys. What they do is they'll go have a smash out night, and then like, do a cocktail, and right. then the next morning, right. They take IV bags to rehydrate themselves, um, and you know, obviously, they might have vitamins yeah. and immunity stuff like that. But yeah. like it, it, it like helps for the hangover because more than anything, you're dehydrated the next True. day. True. You know what I mean? And that's the whole thing. You don't want to be dehydrated, especially after no workout. So yeah, you it does. It does work. Like um, you know, like in regards to hangovers and stuff like that. Absolutely. But. You know, like they're, 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 you can't abuse it, bro. You know what I mean? Like it's not going to be instantaneous and all that stuff. Like if you really are out there going on benders like that, not even sometimes that will bring you back to life. Right. Yeah. Mm, most most high-level corporate dudes that party, that's how they come back to life right there. Yeah. And then they I mean, party again that knows. same night. I wouldn't say to do that. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. Yeah, no, you, 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 you can't <laughs> depend on that, though. You, you still need one. Yeah. You still yeah. need one. Well, no, that. Like the IV bags are like straight into your blood. You know what I mean? That's why a lot yeah. of people do them. But, you know, for me, I'd rather just do them once a month instead of trying to do them every week. That's a lot. It's expensive too, it's bro. It's expensive like you're too. Spending a thousand dollars on a bag. Hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, like I said, you know, you do feel the difference. Um, you know, the next day, and uh, it does take a while to kick in. We're talking about maybe six to eight hours. And uh, but when you do feel it, you won't feel no sickness. You won't feel no like lethargic or anything like that. It's just like a boost and uh, the phenomenal feeling. But yeah, like B said, anything of, of anything, of too much of anything is just bad for you. And uh, I'll, tell you, those at airports. I'll, I'll tell you what, it, it even helps. Like, let's just say you get food yeah. poisoning and you know how like you feel the next day, all the body aches and all that stuff. And yeah. you're you're depleted and hydrated then, too. If you take an IV bag, it'll bring you back. For yeah. sure. Yeah. I mean, I've heard, you know, like even uh, even in the military, you know, like the doctors, you know, like for soldiers, certain soldiers, you know, they, for their workouts or whatever, give them like a, a certain cocktail that they do intravenously. And it works, you know, but it's natural. You got to be careful and you got to see what you're what your body can take, you know, and yeah. that's it. Yeah. yeah, but if you don't, if you don't got money for that, <laughs> yeah, then good, drink water. Good old school sopita, <laughs> yeah, grandma sopita, that's bring it. it back. Yeah, that's oh, it. Man. Yeah, that's right. Go eat some uh, fruits and vegetables <laughs> and drink some water. Yeah. God damn it! Excellent. And yes. then you're good to go. You get any like side effects with that, like a headache or anything like that? A headache? Headache uh, from what? Uh, <laughs> IV therapy? Yeah. No. Yeah, there is. Like you get nauseous or dizzy. I've, I've never had one. Only if you take like the, like NADs. If you have that, 
there is an effect that it has on you where it feels like you're working out while you're sitting there, like your muscles are burning. But if it's just a regular IV drip bag, you shouldn't get any side effects. Maybe some people so, do, but the only thing I ever get is that I could taste the vitamin. As soon as it's going in. Yeah. Yeah. But though I was going to say, though, the what, what uh, you're referring to is sometimes there's like a cold, uh, like immunity thing that they give you at the end and they add it and that shock to your system of it being really cold is what triggers the headache. So I've never know, had that. But like it's it's not for everybody. Like yeah. this doesn't happen. But they tell you they're like, hey, if you're not cool with this, to like just let you know ahead of time, so people get headaches. Are you word, cool with this? Word, because it's different for everybody. Yeah. Right, right. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Have you ever got one of those? Uh, no, no, no. I was thinking <coughs> about it, man. I remember one time. Uh, you know, I was watching. I was just watching this uh, infomercial, man. And it, like B said, all the dudes, everybody was doing it. So at the time, but you know, now I I, I like to go the regular way and just drink water. I, I got my vegetables and my fruits <laughs> department. I'm good in that department, so I'm okay. And I have a supplement I take daily, so I'm okay, man. In that, saying the, the way you was talking, it sounded like you. Yeah. you do it every month. Like, nah, you know, like man. you know what? I tips. do my homework because <laughs> if anybody's gonna stick needles in me, my man. You know, it, it, yeah, yeah, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but the way, but B's, he's B's a boy. He he does it like once a month, and he knows how to like, you know, oh for sure, medically like, um, you know, um, keep the days in between his his um schedule. So that's I gotta commend you for that. B, yeah. Month. Say what? I get it done once a month. Yeah. Yeah. So ain't nothing wrong with that. And even then, get your vitamins both. Say what? Even then, sometimes that's not enough. Mm. It depends on how hard you're going. I mean, I would think you dehydrate a lot more than the average person because you smoke a lot more. No, nah, I drink a lot of water though throughout the day, <laughs> like a lot of Kangen and alkaline water. Oh, awesome. Bj jumps in the pool, and that's it. <laughs> but the days that straw. the days that I don't <laughs> drink enough, I, I definitely feel it. Or I definitely feel it. Or so you know, drink water, man. Gotta do it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just good for you, man. Oh yeah, B. Yeah, you got to take care of yourself because if not, man, um, like I said, uh, your body will shut down if you're on stage performing. And you gotta, you know, you gotta keep your cardio and, and yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Cause uh, you gotta be quick, you know, in case someone throws something at you, like duck. Yeah, like Cardi B, man. I, I was like, man, I, I felt bad for her, man. No one that should have to should go through that and uh I you know feel, i didn't feel bad for her okay i felt well, less you know who cares man <laughs> <laughs> little water come on you know I mean, so. it depends how they throw that water at you though <laughs> yeah yeah like b said you know sometimes yeah it depends you know i seen i seen method man on stage grab bottles of water and just start spraying the crowd <laughs> everybody let's get wet yeah but yeah. that's a that's an artist like wet enough fans that's different yeah, that's true. That's true. It's kind of different. You know, that's man. Yeah. You know, you could do that, right? When somebody's fresh up there and somebody throws a drink at you yeah. and you're wearing your fresh. Yeah, you know, I mean, I know I, it caught a, it, like it caught a head, like a hair, and just, you know that. <laughs> yeah. Chicks are crazy about yeah. the hair and yeah, makeup, yeah. Poppy. It takes them hours yeah. for this. It's expensive, I, I man. Understand. and it's expensive. <laughs> yeah. But it, I, I, I think you're right in terms of, you know, I mean, if you're saying she overreacted, yeah, I think she overreacted just a little bit. Yeah. She's and, from but the she Bronx. got a good left-hand throw, I'll tell you that, though. She's from the Bronx. They're, they're crazy, man. They, they, you know how the girls are from the Bronx, B? They just, oh my. Hey, but I'll tell you what, she shifted real quick because, like, where it could have splashed her right in the face, she, like, look at it. Yeah. She got quick reflexes. Don't, you, don't, don't be boxing with Cardi B, look. That. Oh, this. It was just a, a real quick. <laughs> yeah, like. Uh, you dipped it. You did like, oh. My. <laughs> I bet that you. trips me out every time I see it. And 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 the way she strategically, like, threw that mic was like the predator. She just went, zzz, tsh, 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 and the laser was just on it, and tsh, boom. She hit that motherfucker like, I'm from the Bronx. So we believe that she's left-handed because the other, you know, we saw another mic throw to her, um, her DJ, because she was not pleased that the work her DJ had done this night or something. I don't oh. know. But she turns around and she throws that mic, and it's left-handed again. Oh, wow. That's hard. That's, that's, that's hard, because uh, 
Because your first reaction is to, to if you it, like, <laughs> when she threw that mic right there, she had it in her right hand, and then put it in her left hand and threw it. Oh and man! And this one, she had it in her left hand already. Taps it like Tom Brady and throws it. <laughs> <laughs> man, but did you see the? There's no recoil. Look how still her body is. Look at that. Like that's good. Sh she says she's good. Good she's posture. Good throw. Elbow. Well yeah. Done. Now that's a that's a a well oiled machine. Yeah, that elbow is good. <laughs> Not bad at all. That's a good throw, I gotta say. Uh, yeah. You know. Yeah. You can't you can't mess around with with uh, any female from the Bronx and their throw their throw game is uh, up there. Yeah. Totally, man. Come on, man. What are you smoking there? Um, you know. I rolled the hash hole, but. I think uh, Ooh. some of this ice cream cake. Ah. Yeah. Ice cream. Ice cream cake. Very good. Yeah, a lot of people like ice cream cake, man. I mean, when Kenji grows it. Yeah, Ooh. it's yeah. it's most definitely fire. It's a slow smoke. It is a slow smoke. The hash holes is. I mean, I don't know, man. I feel I feel like sometimes I I have a tolerance, but then you the weed will humble you the moment you're like, yeah, I just. Take advantage of it. Humble, hum, humbly, hum, yeah. humbly. Like you just can't. I don't know. Like I, I, I want to fucking push it to the limit. Damn it! I want to push it to the <laughs> limit sometimes, bro. But I, I just can't. There's no need to push it to the limits. I mean, no. you know, what would we be proving to ourselves? You know, we've already done all that. Maybe achieve a new level of high. I don't know if there is a new level. Well, you don't know. That's what I just said. <laughs> yeah, but I'm like, That's what yeah. I was going to say. That's what he just <laughs> Then you better take some RSO. <laughs> you know what? The we already know where that level goes, bro. <laughs> I've done the full syringe on the RSO, and like I just had really good sleep. That's Ooh. what it was. Like I woke up with like heavy eyelids, and I was just like, yeah, man, this is real. Like, this is a little bit too much. I love like, getting RSO. up. But then, like, once you, once you just like shower and you get. Once you get into Quaint the it, rhythm, you're yeah, okay, you, yeah. You'll start sweating it off. But you do sweat it off like like you got like some hangover sweats or something yeah. like that when you do RSO. But like, cause you're you're feeling uh, moving too fast would be it's too much for you. Oh yeah. Even doing the SHO. You, and do it on a full mm. stomach. Do not do it on an empty stomach. What's SHO? Yeah. That's uh you know what Cali does. Oh, the syringe one that he has? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, he makes that. I, mean, I haven't really tried that. Like, you haven't tried that? No. Bring it. It's it's strong the same way. Only difference is you can smoke it. The the RSO you can't smoke that. You can only what, ingest it. What if you took a joint and dipped it in the RSO and, and try to smoke it like later? It's not gonna no. burn. In the SHO you could do that, okay. but I mean, I don't know. It's just gonna, yeah. like any kind of oil that turns so water based is gonna do what oil does and catch on fire when it gets us to its rawest form yeah there's alcohol in it too it's not made for fire then yeah it's not made to smoke it's made straight up for ingesting it gotcha whereas what cali blaze makes that's meant for like you can ingest it and burn it you could burn it Ooh. yeah b and, yeah you should have like a um like a, a thc cannabis cookie contest with milk and see who can eat the most cookies. You like milk oh. a lot, huh, Doobie? Well, I'm saying with the bolted <laughs> like, cookies, no. That Dr. Like, Green Thumb can of butter smacks. We'll, we'll send people to the hospital with that. How was the How was the LSD spray? I was gonna ask oh, you, man. Oh, I, I I barely felt it. I don't know, be real. There was a while. There was there, there was some parts where I was like, "Is the, I I don't really think that's that joint." <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like I like I feel like it was the LSD did did hit everybody equally really? like. There was some parts where I was like, I heard that little stutter, <laughs> like, uh, like or that little pause, and I was just like, and then me and Blaze looked at each other, and then we're just like, this is why I didn't want to say anything because I didn't even feel like it was gonna come out right, like, so it's not like, but I felt good. It wasn't like bad. It was just funny. Like it wasn't like, yeah, yeah, yeah like it wasn't like somebody's like, oh, gra big grammatical error. But I, we're literally were like. He has to be feeling it. Like, there's no way. Who, like, me? Yeah, because we saw you take two sprays. And, <laughs> and Bobo, I don't, I, think, I don't think it affected Bobo at all. Bobo was already in a <laughs> yeah. Bobo was gone. I don't know how he, he can was, sleep on LSD. I, I'm still <laughs> tripping off Bolton earlier with the headache. <laughs> headache. That's how we say it in Minnesota. A he headache? Yeah, that's how everyone says I it. I got a headache. <laughs> that doesn't even headache. sound right. <laughs> I've been saying headache? it like that my whole life. <laughs> you got a headache? <laughs> No, he doesn't say ache. He <laughs> head said, egg. 
Headache. <laughs> headache. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a headache. Headache. Yeah, don't you know? <laughs> don't you know? You betcha. Headache. I feel with like phrases like that, you guys have like outdated uh, forms of medicine back then. Like, you guys still have that powdered, uh, uh, the powdered version of of, of, uh, of uh, out, what is it? What's that? What's that? Uh, what is it? Uh, head medication when your head hurts? Uh, Excedrin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like they got the they, all that all that medicine used to come in, pow in powder, like yeah. Advil, right. and all stuff, so it used to be like a powder. I feel like Minnesota's oh, like. <laughs> right. You guys have like old school stuff like that, bro? You I don't know. I said something old school the other day here. I feel like I asked Ray. I was like, "Yeah, where's the tin foil at?" And everyone looked oh. at me like, "What the hell's tin foil?" I was like, "Oh, that's an old term for aluminum <laughs> foil." Aluminum foil, yeah. <laughs> I think New York too. They they say headache. You know, who, who, I say who, headache? headache. I mean, I don't headache. You don't, you know, we don't pronounce. Like, I've never heard anyone sounds, say it without the ache in there. It sounds way, way worse it. in Spanish. Dolor de cabeza. It sounds like. <laughs> like <laughs> that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of syllables. Yeah. Close to say that. <laughs> Repeat Dolor. that, please. Dolores de cabeza. No, de dolor de cabeza. Oh, uh, dolor de dolor cabeza. De dolor. De oh man. <laughs> dolor de cabeza. Dolor de. Like say dollar, but dolor. Do dolor. 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 <laughs> dolor. <laughs> <laughs> Dolor. And then what's the last part? Dolor. Dolor. De Yo, Dolor. De cabeza. De cabeza. De cabeza. De cabeza. I feel like that's how he orders tacos. I can't breathe. Yeah. De cabeza. <laughs> like the taco guy is like, pregunta al abuelo de que quiere. It's like, yeah. it's like, de cabeza. Let me get a Dolor. Let me get a Dolor. <laughs> De cabeza. Oh man, I like that. <laughs> oh man, you guys. <laughs> oh. Here, I got it right here. Spanish with Bolton. Extra Dolor. That, that was dope. Extra <laughs> Dolor. <laughs> That's a new brand he's popping off. Dolor. <sighs> Dolor de cabeza. There we go. <laughs> Dolor go. de cabeza. Oh my God. Funny. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Oh, it's always um, a treat to hear him try to pronounce some of this, uh, some of this stuff. My it's the worst when I make Bobo start crying. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he he cries for a lot of stuff. He cries for everything. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he makes you guys watch uh, Cocaine Shark on the Road. Oh, man. Did you watch it? No, not no. Yeah. No, not no. <laughs> no, I have not. I hope we could all watch it over here or something like that. I saw. I Love saw. To do that after I the saw. Show. I saw the first fifteen minutes. Of it. Yo, and that was I it. Saw, I saw yeah. the first ten minutes. I so you guys actually, you know, tried, tried to watch. I tried. All right. Yeah. So t talk to me. <laughs> Yo, you're gonna see like the first five minutes. You're gonna be like, oh yeah. <laughs> like, then ten minutes, you're like, yo, that's enough, B. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like the shark is like, the shark is like, oh, a, yeah. like a puppet. Yeah. Like, oh no. Like, like you're watching Sesame Street. <laughs> no. Oh no. It's not, Wait a minute. It's like a, it's like Hold a, on. like a rubber statue almost, oh, and it's just corny. like he has the same phase every time he attacks, so he just make a move, and then they B. just like shitty CGI. Type of thing where like, oh man, hold come up. on, hold up, B, you guys. B, I was assuming that this was a regular standard film because B's nah. like, you know, we were talking to B original, <laughs> and now that I'm learning more and more about this film because I want to see it, man, it's like, not, you guys really don't want me to see this film or something, or it's just like, I found the page on Instagram, the yeah. actual movie page, and this page had the audacity to say in in some theaters available, like what theater? Is what theater is showing that? I would be mad if I paid for that. Oh yeah, no, everybody would be mad if they paid for that. <laughs> oh man, and then I would on. smoke up in the theater. I'd be like, you know what? I'm getting kicked out today. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. there ain't no theater playing anything that oh. Tubi's got rocking on, unless it's like one of them grimy ass independent theaters in in the middle of nowhere. In the middle yeah. of nowhere. Yeah, the dude. owner of Tubi knows that guy. <laughs> hey, I need you to play some of my movies. Over there. <laughs> Help me out. Who's the owner of Tubi? I feel like Bobo has shares in it. Maybe Bobo's the owner of Tubi. He'd be on Tubi, boy. It says uh, Fox owns it. Fox. Oh. Oh. Wow, more garbage. Wow. Wasn't That's wasn't crazy. Bobo playing playing it on 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 Discord the other day? The movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, there, I saw the uh, because as I was following that movie, I got the preview for another movie called Killer Sloth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, it, yeah, it was crazy, and I'm like, I don't get how you can make the slowest animal like a killer. Like, how is it gonna kill anything? Exactly. Right. It's an yeah. oxymoron, right? The yeah. idea of it. Uh, what about cocaine llama? That's next. <laughs> oh. You know what I'm saying? It has, to be, it has to be animals that, like, 
that that come across like cocaine, like cocaine hippo. That sounds that makes like like somebody starts trapping in Pablo's old cocaine pound. croc. Ooh, do they okay. move drugs through the swamps? Of course they do. You could. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like Hicks do that. Cocaine Co- llama. Cocaine llama. Look at his teeth. That looks like yeah. He looks teeth. like he's been grinding his teeth. Heavy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they look like human teeth, though, man. Look at that. I was on a bender last night, and... <laughs> oh, my God. Got any coke? Spit in your face. Yep. <laughs> it's got that, yeah, that Gary Busey. Yeah, 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 Then your yeah. face numbs because his whole yeah. tongue is already... <laughs> okay. ...coked out from the eating Cocaine is a hell of a drug. It is, his, his tongue is numb from eating all the coke. <laughs> oh, man. The leaves, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of places you can go with with that, right? But cocaine croc, dog. I want to try some of that, like co- mm. some of those uh, those cocaine ceviches, like uh, I mean, cocaine shrimp. You know how like the, what? How what? They, yeah, because like shrimps are testing positive for cocaine. Oh, oh yeah, like oh. a lot. So I'm like, I was I was thinking I was like, well, because okay. they're bottom feeders, and if any of those paquetes drop to the bottom, eh? That's what I'm saying. Perhaps so like, the shrimps got coked out. I want some of those. I want some of those shrimps. Like, I want to talk to Corel's Market and be like, "Look, if we just oh, make man. a special batch." You know I heard you could. Gonna happen. I heard you could get them here. Up. Just make it for me. You know what I mean? I just want to know what this is like. You want to eat some coked out shrimp, huh? Because I imagine if it's good, B. Imagine, like, imagine it's good. I get energized, come here, clean up my office. <laughs> you got a <laughs> hell of an imagination, baby. I, no, you know what? The Sausalito. On the shrimp, you should, that that's a good um, that's a good taste. You know, you guys, if you're gonna do shrimp, yeah. But I know you guys <laughs> want to do the cocaine. I can see. Shrimp. I can he see. wants to do the cocaine shrimp. All right. I would at least make make a dish out of it. Be like, you know, co- like cocaine uh, uh, sh- ceviche or shrimp or something like that, and then just like add like two lines of salt on the plate for like a garnish. <laughs> what? Like, uh, yeah. yeah, like I'd be like, I would get creative with it after seeing that thing. But there's nothing like the breaded shrimp and the cocktail sauce. Just dipping it in that cocktail there's, sauce. There's, and, there's uh, levels to there's, cocktail sauce. There's bro. levels to shrimps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, I mean, the way you could prepare them for consumption. Yeah. You know what's one of my biggest pet peeves with like having shrimp at a restaurant, bro? What's that? Take the shit out, bro. Yes. Take the fucking shit out, bro. Like you got fucking Maria working in the yes. back with her, you know, at this family owned business. Cut the shrimp open like it's getting ready for your husband. Yes. You know what I mean? And take yes. the shit out, bro. Like, yes. I would be on that, I will yes. literally fucking put a dish to them and be like, I don't want it. And then be like, why? Be like, look at this shrimp. got to clean it. Yes, yeah. dude. I have to co-sign Ijo on this because he's absolutely right. Whenever you see that, like if I, if I order shrimp, I don't eat it a lot, but now and then I will. But like if I see that, I don't even touch him. Are you not a like, shrimp fan? No, I like shrimp, but I just don't order it a lot. But if I see that, I don't even I don't even touch it. If they don't like clean that, yeah, the ish out, nah, man, I don't want it. Gross. I don't even like when they leave the tail on, like Fucking the shell. A. Yeah, like, I'd rather them like just peel all that off, so I, I don't got to do no work. If I'm paying for it, I don't want to do no work. Fucking I a. think the best the best style that, that that you could do it that you could do it if you're gonna cook it up for me is butterfly cut that shrimp because I know there's no tail. Yeah, it's cut in the middle. You yeah. see it like it's like there's no little I, I so. residue, no I, nothing. I bro. think sometimes when they keep it in the shell, it's for you know it to like absorb all like the you know everything that it's like being cooked in, like you know the butter and and the rest. And that that sort of helps it like sort of. Uh, like not marinate, but you know, like oh, yeah. it's soaked in the stuff is cooking, so it, it gives it more flavor. Oh, yeah. But for me, I'd rather not have it in the shell because I don't want to be peeling that shit. Off. You're talking no. like this, right? No, I cannot, yeah. dude. Yeah, <laughs> no, I cannot. I do could that. do that. I just don't like to do yeah. it. It's too much work. Yeah. Like fools at the casino be ordering that shit. It's just too much work like that. <laughs> you got to peel the head off, peel the tail off, peel the shell off. Gross. Nah. No, I like if you it. serve it in like that. I ain't ordering it. If no. it's like off shell, you got me. I, I like it like a shrimp burrito from Rubio's. And if they wipe yeah. the ass, <laughs> yeah, they, <that's> right. <laughs> wipe the shrimp's ass too, oh. my. <laughs> Peace. <on. laughs> I like coconut God shrimp. Coconut it. shrimp is good too. Yeah. Coconut shrimp, forget it, bro. That's some good stuff Half right there. you eating coconut shrimp, son. Because <laughs> you can't tell if they, it, you know, when they bread it, like, how you going to know if they actually wipe the ass of the shrimp? Wow. Can you? 
Well, I mean, I've had it at like different places that are like pretty gourmet. So I'm. Well, that doesn't mean anything. I would. I mean, to, to the standards that these places hold themselves up to, I'd, I, I mean, even if, even if it wasn't cleaned, I thought it was. So I'm like, you know, I'm as gonna, long as you think it is, I'm gonna just assume it is because I've I've ate there in the All caliber right. of food. You know, there the is. coconut shrimp at Crustaceans in Beverly Hills is good. But well, I, those places, those places like that, like you guys are talking about, yeah, they definitely right clean there. their shrimp. They clean. They like, don't want yeah. no patron coming back and saying, yeah. hey, what. Is up with this. It's this, right? this spot called Dear Jane's, and uh, it's by the ocean. It's like it's a beachfront, and it's um, the sister company to my favorite restaurant called Dear John's. But they serve all all seafood, and I went to their opening and all this stuff, and I tried it. So I'm like, yeah, it was pretty great. But I like their whole take on it because they had actual um, like shredded coconut mm. caramelized stuck to the breading. Wow. So I was like, oh, all right, that's 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 pretty. You know, it's like a caramelized crunch, and then you have the sauce, man. Ooh. Yeah. Bring it. Like, yeah. that's very amateur hour compared to, like, what I was talking about. And there was no That's tail. a lot of breading right yeah. there. Yeah. Like, that's a lot of breading, but I'm talking about it was caramelized, stuck on there. It looked like, oh, that was just a piece of art. There's bro. a bunch of different styles like we talked about. You know what I mean? Oh, Dude. yeah. Good stuff. Oh, that's good eating, man. All good stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you gonna take a hit? I was like, Are you gonna take a hit? No, you look like you was getting ready for it. No, I was just shifting it so I could see you guys better. The, the, all, all the time, uh, these pieces like are in the line between you and I. Like I have to look over it or around it, and same on this side. So I was just pulling them back just a little bit, just a bit. Hey, oh how, yeah. How, Do you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. yeah. How, how come you guys haven't released the the bird at the LAFC game? You or Bobo? Oh, they, you know they keep ask, saying that we're gonna we're gonna eventually do that, and it's cool. I, like, I, it's nah, cool. be real, it's not cool. What do you mean? Like, like, <laughs> like I was like, they play your song at the stadium for, before the game. Well, that's enough for it's, me. I don't need to be releasing. That's the mascot, part. though. I'm like, you guys have the theme song. At least you do it once. I know Bobo would be more down to let, do it. Like, let yeah. Bobo do release but just, the bird. The bird will probably <laughs> turn on Bobo and so, like for all the. <laughs> For the sake of like Be Real TV and the fans, where I'm like, we have a freaking pet bird up there, bro. Like where where I'm like, I think it would at least do justice, at least to our audience, to really seeing Bobo or one of you guys release the bird at the game. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. it they've told me they wanted me to do it. It's just a matter of when. Awesome. You know what I'm saying? When word. Because yeah, it's when? quite the uh, it's quite the. Um, yeah, you know the thrill. I would, I would imagine. I've touched the bird. The guy was like, "You can't touch it." I was like, "Well, my bad." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, well, excuse me, I have already Battle touched down. the bird. Yeah, it's already been done. Okay. Yeah, I only did it when he had that little helmet on, though, because I wasn't like, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, that bird's beak is sharp, dude. Yeah. So dude. are the talents. That's why you gotta wear that thick ass glove, man. Thick ass glove. Ooh. Yesterday when the well, I mean the other day when the bird when the bird was in flight, and uh, there was a pigeon on the field. The whole time I was thinking, I was like, this could go so wrong. I was like, what if it just like in the middle of the flight, it just snatches that pigeon bird off and it decides to like, you know, eat it because they. You know, that would be crazy if that happened. But during in this occasion, though, the game that I'm talking about, it is um, it it was crazy. There was this this bird that kept coming back on the field while the game was going on. Oh, I on. saw like that. This, yeah, this, this pigeon That's kept coming pigeon, back. Yeah. But I'm like, yo, what is it doing there? Like, it's literally in the middle of the game, and I kept going flying out, and then it just landing back. And I'm like, there's like people running around. Maybe that pigeon wanted to get in the game. So fast. Yeah, I was like, that's. I was like, man, I was like, that's. It's. It's cool. I mean, it was cool to see it. I was like, you know, everybody was getting a kick of it. They put it on the TV. They're like, oh, what's this bird doing in here? Get it out of here. Just casually eating the dirt particles, whatever. He was watching the game. He had the best um, seat in the house. He was on the field. Awesome. Hey. Oh, dude, I'm just, I'm just thinking, man. You're, uh, you guys are right, man. What happened if it picks up like a little do someone's dog or something like that and just no the hawk, hey. uh, the hawk, it could, it could definitely pick up that pigeon and just take off wow. if it wanted to, but it's not, it doesn't have natural instinct like. I mean, that. the fans would get that big ass thing. Oh wow, he's a big boy, man. He's watching the game too. He's like <laughs> some right. bird food to give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he has to be perched How about that. See, he's watching. He's watching it all go down, my. That fool eats carne, right? Like he just he eats meat, like probably. Yeah. Here's probably. big boy with the bird. Yep. He look a little bit like, <laughs> like he's like whoa, bird. Bobo, uh, <laughs> big boy sweating right there. You see that? He's like, <laughs> I got this big ass bird on my arm. <laughs> he's looking. He's looking, He's sizing the bird up too. He's like, what if? 
<laughs> he said, you ain't biting my lips. You ain't biting my lips. <laughs> I'd be more worried about my eyes than anything. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Man, I've heard stories. Yeah, that, yeah they, the birds love to, to, to pick at the eyes, man. That's the first thing they go. Man. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, I, that's why I wear glasses. <laughs> you know what I'm saying you're gonna have to get through the glasses. Yeah, I, I just I don't know. I don't see the that bird attacking somebody. Like no, that. I don't. Not no. that one. No, that that bird's trained. You know what would be the coolest thing though? If they like, they were like, oh, we're gonna upgrade it and we're gonna get an eagle to do this this flight every time. Oh yeah, right. Oh. That I mean, can you domesticate? Like, can you can you have a pet eagle? <laughs> like, not a pet eagle, but no. like, can somebody have one of those? You like, cannot. Why? Because it's the bird of our nation, and we have to be free. Probably I know that so. bird means something to the mer- to America. Um, so Barry, like- <laughs> look look up <laughs> having an eagle it. as a pet, or just like I don't know, just the owning one or training it. Like that would be cool, bro. Like a Fourth of July. I don't think you can though. The Fourth of July game. Nah, you want <laughs> they it. bring the eagle instead? No, nah, I think you could do falcons and I hawks. Think yeah, it's illegal falcons. to possess, sell, hunt, or even offer to sell, hunt, or possess bald eagles. Protect. <laughs> Damn, even offer? Like, I can't even be like, hey, yep. Colton, you want to buy this bald eagle? Yep. You also can't even, like, if a feather falls from them, you can't even grab one of their feathers. And I, oh, dude, I for sure. You can't mess with any of their nest, eggs, or body parts as well. You know, they're mostly in, like, Alaska, too. They, right kick, it out. they kick it in, like, the middle of the well, ocean. Well, they're up in Tahoe, too. I, I've I've seen one in the wild and I've seen plenty at the zoo, but it, they're very majestic animals. But I I mean I guess they they're protected in that sense. Yeah, you gotta leave them the, you gotta leave them alone. They'll oh, have yeah. some at like sporting events when they do like the national anthem. They'll See? send out an eagle. Ooh, look at that! Dude. See, dude, that would be that would be epic. We gotta have dude, that at the look LAFC look at game, that. dude. Look, look <laughs> that, that would thing. dude that, <laughs> right away. Feed that, me. That, that chick is like brave. Like that that thing could have just with no gloves snacked dude. on the fingers real quick. Huh. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah, look at the talons on that thing, my. Yeah, those bald eagles get big, especially when they eat a lot. Beautiful. It also says it's very dangerous to own a bald eagle. That's why you ain't allowed to have one. Like dangerous how so? Um, they say they're very aggressive and can cause serious injury. So that means in the morning to be in your kitchen like, yo, where's the six-pack guy? No, I'm just kidding. Like they're supposed <laughs> to be outside. They can't stay inside in captivity. Oh, it's probably Like it the, pisses them off. They got to fly. Oh, that's probably like, they probably have that great shark, that uh, great white shark syndrome. Because, like, you know, they, like, that's the only animal you won't see in an aquarium. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, yeah. there's a reason you can't. Wow. Like, for years, the, the, these uh, aquamarine biologists have been trying to figure out and they failed numerous times at the cost of many like great white sharks in captivity but they would last the most it's like i think it's like the most the longest one lasted is like a week or two or week and a half right because like it's it just cannot uh comprehend the idea of being held in captivity well one it, it that's a bad idea for a shark because a shark to live has to keep moving oh yeah it can't stop and realistically having it in an aquarium uh you know, going in circles oh, That's crazy. ain't the same as how sharks do. Sharks cover like thousands of miles. Oh yes. You know, country at any one given time, and that's that's what they do. So to not be able to do that, they're just rolling in circles. Well, other than it's 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 a, a great white shark in specific that can't compute this this because other sharks have been able to thrive in like a, yeah. a, aquarium uh, scenarios. Yeah. There's just something different about the but great yeah, because it's supposed to be like um, I don't know the lion version of the ocean, you know, or like uh, yeah, yeah, it's like one of those great great predators that we all know in there. Shoot, now the orcas are the great predators because they're killing great whites and every other type of shark. Ooh. Like they hunt them for the livers. Crazy. If you th- if what's the biggest whale though, Bolton? Like what's the biggest whale that is out there? Uh, I think it's a blue whale, right? Or a gray? Yeah, the blue whale. Yeah. But those those whales can't do anything against against great whites. Right. That, that they can't do much. They're too big. They can't maneuver as quick. But like the orcas, the killer whales, those ones. I think like uh, if uh, if a blue whale opens his mouth, whatever is going in there is done. Yeah, it says a blue whale can weigh up to four hundred thousand pounds. That's about thirty three elephants, and it can reach up to a hundred feet. Oh man! Yeah, yeah but a, a shark, it, you know, even a great white could outmaneuver it. 
and oh, would like, never I mean, catch it. It could, yeah. It could the get way away. these, the way the blue whales eat is they wait for like big schools of fish to be like the, you know, like gathered, and they take one big swallow and take all those fish in. Like the way they feed, it's it's crazy. It, you know, that's yeah. how they. Eat. <laughs> they don't eat. I don't think they eat shark or anything like that. And besides that, they couldn't catch one. They're just too fast. I would imagine even the big ones. Some if that's the biggest thing in the ocean right now, I bet. Imagine the thing that we don't know that's under there. That's way bigger than that. Yeah. Because there's got to be something bigger than that. True that. There caught. There could be. There is. Yeah. I mean, listen. If if you think that, that oh. there's there could be aliens, you know, from different places rather than just the ones here already, right? Yeah. Like because there's people that believe that too. There's no way you couldn't think that there's something bigger in the ocean that, like, we've never seen because we can't. True. You know, we, we can't go that deep to see any. Thank see you. Anything. Yeah, we haven't explored the whole uh, earth yep. yet. I mean, there's so many places, but yeah, yeah, no. Cocaine shark. <laughs> cocaine shark. <Yeah. laughs> That's right. And on land, cocaine croc. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, the possibility of them, like, because the megalodon is supposed to be bigger than all that. Oh, yeah. Like, a megalodon was supposed to be, like, the prehistoric shark. Yeah. And they, they have a chart where they com they, they compare, like, uh, the biggest animal, that's animals in the water, <coughs> compared to it, and it doesn't even, like, phase it. Yeah, no. Like, a blue whale looks like a baby compared to, like... It's a food. Whale. A blue whale is food to one of those. Yeah. True. Oh man, it's it's crazy because when they when they swim, you can actually see the ripples in the water from like you know yards, meters uh, ahead, and it's just amazing how they imagine seeing something like that. Wow, you're rolling in a in a, yes. in a crew on a cruise, and then something that big. A oh. megalodon or a blue? Yeah, whale? that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, a blue whale you wouldn't be so threatened by, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you see something like that that you're talking about, oh, you would freak the fuck out. A megalodon could tip over a cruise ship. Yeah. Yeah. Look up how saying. big a megalodon is, Bolton. Or was. Them, some people say that that's... But there's still one out there, yeah. There's got to be more than one. The ocean is massive. Yeah. It's, it's, Those it's, things got a bone. I'm not going to say that it... it, it, it not going to say no, because you just never know. It says uh, the scientists think they were as long as 50 feet and weighed as much wow. as 50 tons. Oh, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, wow. fifty feet and fifty tons. Yeah, that's a that's oh, insane. Damn. So around like one hundred thirty thousand pounds. Oh, shit. And you're in the water. Imagine something that was around like that today, like for real, that you could see it, like you see great whites. Nobody would ever go in the water. No one would go in the water. Man, I'm oh look at that! There it is, a comparison. Oh hell no! Nah, that man. just looks like a super big great white shark. Nah, nah, man, nah. We ain't doing that. <laughs> we not doing that one. That's a bit. That's pretty big, man. Yes, the the great white is uh, enormous, man. It's ginormous. Is, is the mega's uh, you know punk ass little brother? <laughs> 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 or who's to say that the great white can actually grow to be that big? And then no, that's just like it won't. It just you know thirty feet, thirty five feet. I think is as long as they get as big. There's as a they baby get. megalodon. Oh no, baby megalodon is six and a half feet. Man, that's insane, bro. That's like, come feet. on, man. You know, and, th and their strength is insane. I mean, that that those things are beautiful. So, yeah, man, my hat's off to to that, those the megalodons. <laughs> that's crazy. But sometimes they they, they just uh, <laughs> that was the most random shit you could that ever is say. Pretty be like, <laughs> that's the right. This is the right show for that kind of randomness. All right, man. No, but it's true. Excellent. True. Cocaine shark, word up. Jeez, <laughs> thank God. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Look, if you haven't taken that time to smash that like yet or subscribe, please do it. Crack the all notification bell. Share the show out. Get down with the Dr. Green Thumb Show. Bring your friends to the party, Mike. We invite you. Or we invite all you strangers. Um, to come on down and party with us, the highest show in the world, Dr. Green Thumb Show, all right? And uh, we got a mix show popping off on Friday, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. So make sure you check it out on Twitch, B underscore Real TV is the place. Um, Yeah, there should be a mix show after this show. So make sure you check it out. Um, 
we're going to be popping it off in the mix. So, uh, you know, if you got a Prime Amazon account and you don't have a Twitch account, you could create your Twitch account from there. Subscription on the monthly for free. Utilize it. Get with these mixes, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right. And again, tell your friends, man. Help us grow this show out to become the biggest show on YouTube. Right now, we're like, we're there. To you, we're the best. Thank you. But let's make us the biggest. <laughs> help us. Help us help you. Help us help you. Help us. Help you. Word up. Um, yeah, man. I left here high the other day. Like, and I had that <laughs> that day because I had one of them them uh double barrel Cali Blaze Ooh. hash holes. Oh and the man. slowdown caught up to me <clears throat> when I got home. It didn't hit me here. Like, you know how you're talking about you get the nod off, right? Yeah. It didn't hit me here, right? Like, while I was here, I was cool. While we were doing the show, I was right. cool. While we were in the office, you know, just shooting the shit, I was cool. But it was when I got home and I wound down. The minute I settled down and I wasn't doing things, it just stacked up on me. And I was, I was sitting there watching something and... I felt the knot off coming. I had to get up and start walking around to shake that shit off. Man. Don't it's... barrel. There it goes. It looks like a pig's nose. <laughs> oink, oink. See those bars right there? Wow, look at that. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> Gross. Word. Um, no, that, that, those, those Cali Blaze, um, yeah, those hash holes are insane, man. They're insane. I don't know how you guys do it. Yeah. You got to walk off. Like B said, you got to walk off. Oh, so like, they only go that far, huh? Oh. Yeah, wow. they're not that big. <clears throat> like the, the worms? Yeah. Nice. When I would do them with, like, let's say the shatter, I would put them all the way down the joint. Yeah. That right. shit would get clogged up, though. Nah, no. Not the way I rolled it. Not I, the I way. never got clo clogged. Yeah. I remember the bow. <laughs> you they weren't around back then, Doobie. I'm talking about like re like when Shatter was like on the scene and we started rolling with that. I remember rolling it around. We did that. We did the swizzle. But like I always thought that was a waste because when you're when you're wrapping it around the outside like we used oh, to do, it would drip and get on your sneakers or your pants oh, or you know, and it was just wasting dripping on the on the ground. It would always end up with a lot at the end. Yeah. Yeah. So I, for me, I would always roll it just like a hash hole that that, that we do these days is just put it right down the center and and go and it made the joint burn slow. That was the cool thing about. And the same thing with the hash holes. They make the burnt, the joints burn slower. You know, it's just they get you much higher. Dope. Yeah. That's dope. They will put your ass out. Like if you don't, you don't pace yourself and you're not used to that type of shit, boy. Ooh. It is the night night. You want to go to sleep? You got problems going to sleep at night? You go smoke yourself a hash hole. Yeah. And then when you wind down trust is gonna catch up to you <laughs> you're gonna have a great sleep <laughs> oh i guarantee that i'm trying to tell you talking about shatter i miss these days walking into like a medical dispensary and they had all the shatter just lined up awesome and you'd be like yeah i want a gram of that and that and that bring it look at that glob right there <laughs> wow shatter was good it's just you know better better to press it than to put all that that butane through it because not everybody would always clean it out proper. Some people are allergic to, to butane, too. Yeah. You were just taking a chance smoking so much of that with, you know, the risk of it not being thoroughly, fully, you know, cleaned of the butane. But when they did it right, when they did it right, man, that it tasted so good. Ooh. But I like what they're doing now with the live rosin and all that. It's just more like chemicals, though, man. That's when you were smoking that shit. It was a lot of chemicals. A lot of chemicals. Acting it through butane, and everybody was down in the beginning. I just, I, I'm surprised. Like, there's, well, I'm not saying I'm surprised, but it's just, there has to be repercussions to a lot of that era from smoking a lot of that black shit. Well, yeah, yeah I would wow. imagine a lot, a lot of, a lot of people developed some stuff. They just, you know, didn't report it. 
Wow. Yeah, probably. They go to the doctors, did yeah. all that. Word, that's insane. That's crazy. I just uh, thinking about some of the smokers out there that just, uh, I mean, mostly the girls, man. They hit harder than the dudes, man, when yep. they hit that stuff. So Yeah, the shatter. Yeah, man. Any that's, concentrates, really. Yeah, how do they do it, man? It's insane. So, yeah, they more got, power to them. Heck, yeah. They can, yeah, chicks can, like, hit the concentrates, like, Nothing like, like nobody, different. like alien, yeah, yeah, insane, and like no reaction. And what's crazy is no that, reaction. like, you if you smoke a joint with those same same chicks, right, that yeah. like do dabs heavy, they would say that, oh my god, I'm so high right now from the joints. It's like crazy. How are you getting high from these punk ass joints in comparison to the <laughs> crazy ass dabs you do? Um, like how, how is that but true. it's it's a different yeah, yeah. a different effect i guess you that's know what right. i mean yeah, that's true. you reach the invisible ceiling yeah yes true that right there is like a ceiling where you just can't get much higher unless you take it up like internal like like you take it up a notch and start like ingesting it you could get so high that it'll put you to sleep true like you've had too it's too heavy your eyes are heavy you're struggling to keep your eyes open and it's just like nah and, and even your body temperature goes up that's a good ass sleep though it is a great sleep it's not fun but, though if you're but, trying to hang out no you shouldn't try to hang if it's it's if it's that heavy on you you should just go knock out unless you love that that feeling like a heavy ass blanket over your <laughs> yeah, that nice. lean feeling, but without yeah. the lean, yeah, right. Yeah, jeez. Right. Yeah, you want lean like for real? Shh, <laughs> take some of that concentrates, thousand milligrams. Let's go. Ooh, be, you wow. be leaning all right. Trust on that. <laughs> Where am I? Yeah. <laughs> Unless you super certified, you know, then you might need a hundred, you know, a thousand, fifteen hundred <laughs> milligrams or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. You need that. You got some. Hella tolerance. Yeah, threshold. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Absolutely. Did you and Sendog like eat edibles a lot growing up or not? We did now and then, but there wasn't a lot available. Your homies or you had to make them. They weren't just readily available out there like that. Yeah. And then that's like a guessing game because you don't know like how much milligrams are in each edible. Right. Nobody nobody was keeping track of <laughs> how many milligrams they were putting down and whatever they were making. You know what I mean? It was just like Oh, well, let's just make this, let's make these brownies or let's make these cupcakes or these biscuits or whatever they could make, you know, with it. it. And they were putting as much weed as like they thought. They No one told them, hey, only put X amount. It's like, right. oh, let's put, let's put this whole half ounce in here. <laughs> no, no measuring. No measurement. <laughs> you know that there was a half ounce that went into those. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Ooh, word. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. It's, it, yeah. So we didn't do it so much. I, I, I had some here and there, but mostly was always smoking joints till we were smoking blunts. Mm -hmm. Then we came back to joints and we were hitting bongs. I mean, bongs has always been in and out. Um, but I don't hit bongs too much these days. It's just too much upkeep. I don't like that smell. Gotta, yeah, you got to constantly be changing the water. You got to be constantly cleaning the bong. Yeah, now my bongs are just basically, you know, show pieces, if anything, or just tucked away. Because realistically, I don't use them. If I have them out, like, all everywhere, if I'm not going to use them, you know, they right. break this way. Right. And some of those bongs are worth some bread. There it is. Yeah, but no bonks. Straight up joints on funky field tips. That's how we do. Oh, oh yeah. I know you did. <laughs> I know you did. Uh, hey, I don't know if y'all saw this. I know we talked about it some time ago, but um, did y'all see that video Shakira was doing um, where she was laying down, she had a pink wig on, and then a little rat popped up on the set and uh, ran across her wig. A rat? Rat. What? No, rat, tat, 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 tat. I did not see that. Oh man, yeah, she was tripping. I think everybody on the set was tripping. Little homie peeked out of nowhere what? and just ran across the back of her set. It was hilarious. What did what'd she do? I oh, freaked Screamed. out. Screamed. Screamed. Okay, poor. Ah, oh, that's that sucks. Okay, she's having a year. Like a bad year or a good? Or a good like a good uh, year? I don't know if it's. 
bad or good. I sounded mm-hmm. like it was bad. I mean, she did. <laughs> well, that that that's pretty bad. Her man cheated on her, right? Yeah. Something like that. And then he left her for like a year. Look, here it is right there. Oh, that's a <laughs> damn, that's a big rat, dude. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Where are they shooting this? I don't know, but that wasn't supposed to be in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Someone threw a rat up in there, B. How'd you get a rat up in there? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just like, wow, that's insane. <laughs> I know some guys. I know some guys. You know, yeah, like, is that like yeah. a, I don't know, I'm just, is that like a part of the scene, though? Because she looks like she's no, laying not, in a bunch of filth. No, it's not a part of the scene. You know, I don't think that, I mean, I don't think they anticipated the rap popping up out of nowhere. Word. You know, what, you know what she said up when she seen that? What? Puta rata. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That's right, she's Spanish, right? Which, she's Columbia. Colombia. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. That's crazy, though, right? I don't know. Yeah, somebody's gonna. Yeah, the director's definitely gonna hear it from somebody. Yeah, I think we're good with that already. <laughs> I'm gonna overplay it. Uh, oh man, people don't know we're filming right now. Why oh, they keep calling you? Yeah, everybody, <laughs> as it happens, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, you know these shows are uh, shorter because right about now, um, somewhere off. In Europe, but somehow doing this. You know what I'm saying? But uh, when we get back to full blown, uh, the shows will be back to normal at a full two hours and all that stuff. So we thank you for bearing with us and getting down with us while we do these special edition shows and whatnot while we are globe trotting. All right. Um, and uh, I want to send you much thanks and a whole lot of love for dealing with it and uh, being here with us. Through uh through these next couple weeks, so um you know salute to all y'all, and uh, you know we're gonna get ready to pop off the mix in just a minute. Uh, so Sun Doobie, got any shout outs? I uh, just want to give a big shout out to you guys. I can't uh, do it without you. And uh, uh, everybody, just follow me on the um on the IG on, at the Real Sun Doobie. Yeah, thank you guys. Less. Word up. <clears throat> Shout out everybody. Um, follow me at Psycho Less. And if you're checking for the merch, the Psycho Less Shop.com. Let's go. Shout out to the Insane Asylum. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to Ray Morning Shot Films. Shout out to the Dominator. And what's going on, Ezone? Shout out to everybody who tuned in. Go to flavorsbyezone.com. Get you some gear. Get you some new stuff. Get you a new hat. There's a lot of new stuff I constantly keep posting up there, so take advantage of that. Go watch the new episodes of High and Hungry. There's a 12 episodes for you guys to watch on the Be Real TV YouTube. New season, and uh, follow me at Flavors by Ezone. Word up. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Love your family. And uh, stay 1,000. All right? No boof. Smoke that good. Swallow that. TV.